Hey. So, there is a movie that I've seen time and time again. I saw this film, uh, like, on Amazon Prime, uh, back on, back in 2019, I think it was. And I had plans to review it, but I took one look at the trailer and I told myself, no. Then in 2020, I told myself, I don't want to watch this. And I decided I'm going to review it in 2021. But even this year, I didn't want to review it. I didn't want to. This movie just didn't look interesting to me. <laughs> but yet, here I am, reviewing it. The film, of course, being Lost Creek. From 2016. It is about a kid who moves to a new, new town, new neighborhood... And he meets this girl, and he finds out by the, uh, from the girl that there is this ghost or monster that is living in a creek or this uh, wooded area or whatnot. Uh, and as the days progress, uh, as we get closer to Halloween, people in the town and the neighborhood start disappearing, as well as some kids. And he tries to figure out what's going on. And at the same time, he's seeing these visions and these weird, he's having these weird dreams that showcase basically these, this creature or whatever it is. And he gets a, the new girl he meets and his uh, friend together, and they try to figure out what can they do to stop it. <clears throat> so I didn't know if this was a kid's horror film or if this was just a horror film in general. Like, is it trying to be Goosebumps or like, you know, but a legit horror movie. I couldn't tell. First of all, I want to say something um, before I go into cons or pros about this film. I'll definitely say this. I think that the fit, like the filmmakers had good intentions and I can see there was heart behind the movie in terms of like, some of its themes and elements, but overall, this movie's boring. This, this movie's really boring and poorly acted. <laughs> um, I don't want to be mean because I, I genu like while watching, I genuinely felt like there was some sort of passion to it. Like I just got this feeling. Like you know when you just have like a gut feeling about something. I have this feeling that there was a lot of passion put into the movie. But, of course, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to turn out good. I There was a lot of passion when I made my first feature-length film, and it turned out shit. But you got to start somewhere. Um, things I did like. I thought um, there were elements of this movie that were genuinely creepy. There was a scene where, where the monster runs towards the camera, and I was like, that's pretty creepy. It had something to do with the lighting. It felt genuine. Like, the lighting felt like something, like... We, like it, if it, it, it didn't feel like lighting. The lighting was really good in the scene, and the music was really good. There was another scene uh, that where there was these bunch of kids dressed up in uh, Halloween masks, and they run towards our main characters, the main kids, and it was like, oh, I, I wouldn't want to see that. Like, so I thought I thought that was very well done. There was a part where a, a doll um, comes to life and is is chasing a kid. That was pretty creepy too. <clears throat> And overall, I like the ending. I like the ending. Uh, I thought it was a heartwarming ending, and I felt like everything came uh, full circle. Um, and I'll say I like the characters. I, I like the characters. But it's a shame because everything else is really bad. First of all, this film is very slow. Not a lot happens besides... A lot of talking and exposition, and I just, I didn't get, I, I didn't feel it. I didn't get that, you know, I didn't, I didn't get what the, the filmmakers uh, were trying to do, because, I mean, one thing I did, one, I'm sorry, one thing I did like about this film was that um, it, it tried to capture that feeling of like, you know, a kid's like, uh, a kid, like, I remember when I was in school and I heard uh, that there was like this 
scarecrow um, in someone's backyard that he'd place up for Halloween and it, it, it's cursed or something. I, I remember I'd always like run to it and I, I'd like observe it. Uh, I, what I'm trying to say is like, you know how like, you know when you're a kid you've always like heard something about like an urban legend or whatnot and you're like, you're chasing it to see if it's real or you, you do some digging and I feel like that movie, this movie tried to capture that aspect. Unfortunately, it just didn't succeed because the, look, I like the characters, like they're kids. I like them, but unfortunately, the actors, the kid actors, they didn't do they didn't do too good of a job. There were just a bunch of weird, awkward dialogue scenes, and the whole movie centered around the kids, and you need the kid actors to be good, and they just weren't, unfortunately. There's a lot of awkward dialogue and a, a lot of awkward scenes, which sucks because I don't want to shit on a kid actor. I genuinely don't. Uh, I just feel guilty. I feel really bad when I say bad things about like you know kids who are probably giving it their all, but they just weren't good in this movie. I'm sorry. I I hope that they you know they get better and they, and they make more films in the future, and they get better. But they they just weren't good in this film. I will say I will say though that they did have a few lines that were good. Uh, I think probably the best kid actor in this movie was the the main girl Maggie. She did a really good job uh, in certain in certain scenes, but overall, she said. Just as many awkward lines as the main kid did. Um, and also, like, I didn't, like, here's the thing. I liked the characters, but I wasn't scared for them. Like, because I, I just kind of had this feeling like, you know, they'd get out of the situation. It felt like a, a Goosebumps episode. It, it felt like a one-hour Goosebumps episode. Because even some of the acting in Goosebumps is not that good. <laughs> so I kind of felt like that was kind of what this movie represented. Um... And I will say something about the dialogue. It's very weirdly written. There's like a scene where a kid's talking to his best friend. It's Peter and I forget the other kid's name, William or something. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But he talks to his friend at school about this weird dream he had, and he'll interrupt him and say, "I love pop tarts. I just, I really want to eat a pop tart right now." And the kid's talking about this scary dream he had, and his best friend's right next to him. He's like, "I love pop tarts," and I'm just like, "What the fuck? Why are you? Why are you talking about pop tarts?" And it's not just the one time. There are times where they'll be talking, and then the other character will like talk about something totally irrelevant, and it happens more than once, and it's just very weird. Um, there's a scene where the kids are like being chased by this creature. And they come and they come together and they're like, hey, uh, you know, I saw something in my house and I ran outside to go like, you know, to get out. And the other kid's like, oh, I saw something and I ran out of my house. But the way they deliver their lines is just very, very bland. They don't seem scared or frightened that they could have very well lost their lives. It just it didn't work. Uh, it just didn't work. And also the cinematography, while it wasn't bad, there were a few shots that were kind of weird. And I'll admit, sometimes the music was a little bit too loud. Um, and I couldn't hear the dialogue. And while the story wasn't bad, I felt like execution-wise, there were some things I was kind of confused about. But the movie did a nice job clearing it up towards the end. I was like, okay, I understand that. that that's fine. Um, overall, this movie wasn't the worst thing I've seen. And... Even then, I still feel bad for giving it this rating that I'm going to give it a, a D plus because I want to give it like somewhere in a C level or B, but I just can't because overall I was bored. Like there's a lot of pointless scenes that drag and uh, a lot of it does, unfortunately. Uh, the main flaws that I do have with the movie is mainly the kids. It just It's just very weird and very awkward and I, I don't want it. I don't want to be me. <laughs> um, but, you know, I like the message overall, um, you know, about, you know, growing up. And I did like the ending. Uh, there, I got like a, a, like a nice heartwarming feel to the ending that I really did like. Um, I, something I did forget to mention. I actually did like the chemistry between the main kid, Peter, and Maggie. I thought their friendship was really cool. Um, I like the way they bonded in the movie and they tried to work things out together, even though the acting was, you know. <laughs> but I, I, I did like elements of this movie. I just, the flaws with the acting is mainly, mainly the main problem. And it's just, I can't. 
But guys, I'm finally done. Okay. I need to go to bed.